Boiling, the phase transition from liquid to gas, occurs when the vapor pressure of the liquid is equal to the external pressure of the environment. The vapor pressure of a liquid increases with temperature, but it's always greater than zero. The temperature where the vapor pressure is equal to the external pressure is called the boiling point, where the external pressure is normally one atmosphere. When we think about boiling water, we normally think about something that looks like this. We place water on some sort of heat source, like a hot plate or stove, and slowly heat it up. As the temperature of the water increases, its vapor pressure also increases, until the point where the vapor pressure is equal to the external pressure, in this case, one atmosphere, since this is in a normal, standard condition. Water has a very high specific heat, so it takes a long time to impart enough energy to transform its temperature from room temperature all the way up to 100 degrees Celsius, its boiling point. In this case, I'll speed up the video to make it a little bit more interesting. Now, we know that boiling occurs for a liquid when its vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure of the environment around it. You might typically encounter this in your kitchen, heating up water on your stove to boil it to cook food. In this demo, I'm going to show you boiling from a slightly different approach. Rather than heating water up, we're going to reduce the vapor pressure of a flask with the vacuum pump, causing the water to boil at room temperature. To walk you through this apparatus, this is a round bottom flask filled with distilled water. It's connected to a vacuum trap to collect anything that might form as we're pulling the vapor out. Uh, and then this is a vacuum pump that is going to uh, remove the vapor from the flask. Before getting started, I'm going to add just a little bit of liquid nitrogen to the vacuum trap. and then I'll turn the vacuum on. Now pretty quickly, you can see that the solution has started to boil. This isn't exactly a rolling boil, this vacuum pump can only pull so much of the vapor off. But you can see that bubbles are forming as the solution is boiling. To confirm that this is at room temperature, I'm going to use this infrared thermometer. So right now, it has a reading of about 21.3 degrees Celsius. And if we let this go on for much longer, the temperature will continue to drop as the most energetic water molecules leave through the vapor. see in just under a minute, we're down about a full degree Celsius. And by turning the vacuum pump off, we should see the boiling slow down and then stop altogether in about a second or two. Have it boiling water at room temperature. We can achieve a similar effect without the use of a vacuum pump by boiling water in a Franklin flask, seen here. 
rather than being a normal round bottom flask. This has a small depression on the bottom and we'll fill this with ice to reduce the pressure internally. The temperature of the solution is quickly cooled to about 90 degrees Celsius. Here, I'm going to add ice to the exterior of the Franklin flask, which will cool down the interior side of the glass. As the glass cools down, vapor from the air inside the flask will condense onto the surface, lowering the internal pressure of the flask. As this lowers, it reaches the vapor pressure of the water, and the water will continue to boil. As I add more ice, vapor continues to condense as the solution overall lowers in temperature. Due to the reduced pressure, we're able to see boiling at temperatures much lower than 100 degrees Celsius, similar to what we saw with the vacuum pump, but now in a closed system. <laughs> 